how's it going? My name is Tim Brown, and this is the fifth and final video about how financial companies can get more leads. And this video is about how to create white papers and resources that people will actually want to download. The absolute most critical preliminary step on this is finding something that people will actually want, finding out a topic that people will want. So for instance, if you understand that your clients, the number one thing that they need is getting information about retirement, how to get to retirement, if they have enough money to retire, if they're on pace, and what actions they might need to take to get to that retirement. So you could create a little guide about how to identify the key things that they need to have in place to be on track for retirement. And if you, if you understand the pain points, that's where you need to start. You need to figure out what people are looking for when they come into you and how you can facilitate a little bit of that in the process before they actually come in and receive the benefit of your services. So that's preliminary. The number one step that I have down here is having big CTAs or call to actions. And this just means you need to have a big call to action both on the landing page for the download it also means that you need to have call to actions throughout your site, both on the end of pages or the end of posts that, that say that you should download this white paper and on your homepage, everywhere else to make it as visible as possible. Big call to actions. Another thing to think about when you're making a call to action is it should finish the sentence for the client or the prospect. I want to, so if, if it's, I want to, be prepared for retirement. That would be your call to action. You want to have that actually on the button. I want to be prepared for retirement. All right, number two, attractive photos. Now this means attractive photos of the actual white paper. So you could create a mock-up or however you wanted to do it, but you make it feel physical. Make it feel like it's a real thing. And there's a lot of things online where you can get these white paper or little pamphlet mock-ups and you can use those to then create something that feels physical and obviously you don't have to send them something but you can just let them download that via pdf and you also in the process can include photos of people smiling and other things that are persuasive emotionally to people that are looking for a resource Number three, give a taste of the actual content. So honestly, I think of it as make the content really good, but take some of the best pieces of content that are in the white paper and put them on the landing page or put them on where they would download because we want people to feel like there's tons more. And if you give them the best stuff, honestly, give them the best stuff, even on the landing page, because they will assume that there's more and there's nothing wrong with giving them the best information first. And number four, create clear outlines because you do not want them to be confused if they're just skimming because a lot of people skim. So you actually want to distill the best points in your paragraphs and put them in your headlines. And you want to have bullet points wherever possible because honestly, your clients might be busy people, especially if you're working with high net worth individuals they don't have a ton of time. So if you put the main points and bullet points, put them towards the beginning of the white paper, give them the value as soon as possible, that will make them more likely to trust you. And lastly, use simple language. It is not gonna impress your prospects if you are delving into industry jargon. It doesn't help them and it doesn't make them more likely to be prepared if they come in and talk with you about your services. And so you want to use as simple of language as possible. And it does depend a little bit on your brand voice. If you said that you want to be more casual or if you have identified that you want to be more formal, but still don't use this technical jargon. Otherwise you're going to scare people off. All right. Thank you so much for watching these videos. I would love to talk with you. If you need help with your financial services marketing, contact me now at Tim at hookagency.com or give me a phone call at 763-221-5525. All right. Have a great day. Have a great week. And I appreciate you. Bye.